happy birthday. It was yesterday, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, been quite a year. Uh, Oscar nomination for Black Klansman, uh, Tony nomination for Burn This. Got a bunch of movies coming out. Star Wars, of course, coming as well. Uh, how you feeling? A little overwhelmed? That's good. I'm, I'm good. All right, good. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. If you. If you weren't good now, I feel like maybe <laughs> never. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> uh, this is uh, uh, this film is getting uh, uh, wonderful responses. Uh, it's about a divorce. It's about custody. It seems very intense. Was it an emotional film to do? It was, but it, I mean, I don't mean to make it sound more challenging than what it is. It's, it's what the, the, the subject matter is intense, yeah, it's, but um, if anything, that was a testament to the good writing. Yeah. Usually there's like uh, one scene that you uh, know is in the schedule that seem that you are trying to avoid, you know, if it's, it's emotionally challenging or it's like physical or it, you just are aware of it in the schedule, but all of all of the scenes in this movie seem too early in the schedule for them to be happening, which is, again, well, I think why what Noah wrote is, is really great. You've, uh, this is Noah Baumbach. You've, I believe this is your fourth film with him. Yeah, fourth time. So you must have an expectation when, you, uh, when he sends you a script for something like this. You probably are looking forward to reading it. Did this feel different? Like, as soon as you started going through it, were you like, oh, this is, this is exceptional? Well, we had been talking about it for months leading up to, if not a, a year at that point. So I, I knew... Uh, things that were going to be in it. We talked a lot about structure. He really wanted to make a movie that w played with audiences' allegiances. That kind of starts with one one character, and maybe you know you switch. There, so there were structural things that we talked about. We talked about, you know, we, we know each other. Uh, we're friends, so we meet at dinner all the time, and uh, we bring our personal things to dinner and talk about it there. So I think what I was most um, uh, impressed by was after all, and, and he had just been talking to me, he'd been talking to Laura Dern, he'd been talking to Scarlett, he'd been talking to lawyers, you know. Uh, so by the time I actually read it, how he had taken all of those ideas and kind of made this one document that seamlessly did all of it, you know, it with had all these interesting structures but didn't sacrifice, you know, the blood that was happening in the scene. So I, I just, I think as soon as I read it, I, I'm like, oh, I'll never get anything like this again. One thing uh, you do in the film is you sing a song from uh, Stephen Sondheim's company, yeah. uh, Being Alive. So yeah. that was something that you guys had discussed and talked about wanting to do. Yeah, at, at one point we thought about doing a movie of, of company because, you know, if you know the musical, it seems like maybe it's, uh, it lends itself to a film. It's kind of abstract. And so that didn't happen, but you still sang this song. Was this a song? Was this something that you then wanted? You basically, in the discussion, were like, I'd really love to sing this song. He, he put it in. He... he uh, if, if I remember correctly, and where he puts it in, which I don't want to give anything away, but it, I thought was just a beautiful, you know, piece of writing. It, 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 you know, and similar to great musical theater, it's not just a song for the sake of it. Hopefully you learn something about the character. You know, by, by the end, he's tra transformed into something else. Uh, you have a history of musicals. You were in a high school production of Oklahoma. History, history is loose, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was yeah, yeah. your uh, What was your role in Oklahoma? The lead, I'm assuming. No, no. Okay. I, was a, I was a course member. I had a line. That, <laughs> that's how you find that. Uh, that's. Uh, I said, "Check his heart." That was my line. That was your one line. Was yeah. check his heart? Yeah. Curly gets shot, right? I think yeah. at the end. Of, and then uh, there's like all the course guys come in. They're like, "What happened?" And I say, "Check his heart," <laughs> which is not really a, a good line. Like, yeah. I just saw this guy get shot. Right. You know? It also seems like somebody who's like not a doctor, but maybe met one <laughs> right, once. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, I think I know the next thing you do is check his heart. That's right, key. Right. right. Um, uh, <laughs> totally different in tone, uh, and especially from like uh, you know this is you Oklahoma. talk about uh, Oklahoma. Totally different in yeah, tone yeah, yeah, from yeah. Uh, yeah. Mary's Story, but also uh, the report, which is another film. You oh have. yeah, yeah. So um, this is an incredible uh, source material to to write a screenplay of. This is actually. <laughs> A report that was written uh, basically about the CIA torture program. Yeah. And you're playing uh, the guy who wrote the, uh, that uh, uh, report. So that must be weird. I mean, because I'm assuming you don't, in the beginning, read this sort of 600 page torture report. Yeah, over 6,000 page. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no one ha has. Well, not no one. Pe people have. It's just not, it hasn't been released. It's been. Uh, you know, heavily redacted. There is a version that you can buy on Amazon, which I hate, I hate to say because it sounds like an Amazon plug, but because the movie is released by Amazon, but I guess that's <laughs> yeah, my job, yeah, right, right, right. is to say. Uh, but it is easy to get on Amazon. Uh, a heavily redacted version of, uh, of the script and even uh, of, of, the, of, of the report. And just reading that, even just reading the opening, you know, findings and conclusions section, it's pretty, it's pretty harrowing.